This video looks at the fifth section of the marking criteria, which is software justification. You've actually done some of this already for this uh, mark. Uh, for a pass, you need to identify a minimum of two possible software options. Uh, if we go back up to uh, section three, choice of interactive product, we actually already looked at four different types. Um, and for each, you need to outline the advantages and disadvantages for each software option, already done that, and state the software the choice that you've chosen. Um, to get up to a merit, you need to describe three, uh, so you've actually got to say what those things are, um, and you've got to describe the pros and cons, and then you've got to make it clear which software choice you'll be using, and really, for uh, a distinction, you need to be saying why. So looking at this, it's all to do with this section again, so this needs to be explained out. So a website, you should explain what a website is, you should explain what a tablet or mobile app is, explain what a game is, explain what a presentation is, and then choose which one you would use and give a really good description as to why you would do that. Um, and that's all it is. You, you, know, you might want to uh, create a table above the advantages section that just says a website is blah blah blah, a tablet or mobile app is blah blah blah, and that would then lead on to the advantages and disadvantages table. Uh, the more detail you put into these advantages and disadvantages, the more marks you're going to get. And then you finish it off with your chosen product, which one are you going to choose and why, and be as detailed as possible.